What is going on guys, welcome back to another video. So I want to make today's video fairly quick. It's a very, very easy job to do. And basically when I bought the car, I noticed that the rear 12 volt power outlet or the cigarette lighters, whatever you want to call them, were not actually working. And that was actually the case when I bought the car. I knew that they wasn't working. So there's two at the rear behind the center console and there's also one in the boot on my model as well i'm pretty sure it's like an optional extra um, but yeah so i have three at the rear neither one of those are working the front one does work though which i will show you okay then so ignition's on and the one at the front is let's just remove the cigarette lighter is this one here and you can see from this little uh, USB plug-in 12 volt adapter, it's showing 12.4 volts. So we know that's working, but I'll show you the show you the ones in the rear and you'll see that those are not showing anything at all. Okay then, so you should have two in the rear here. You might not have heated seats though, um, but as you'll see, the ones in the rear is literally not showing any power at all to either of them two. And then I have one in the boot here. That one's not showing any power at all either. Okay then, now the reason why the front one works and the rears don't is because they actually run off separate fuses. So I'm pretty sure the case is that one of the fuses has blown for the rear um, power outlets. And um, basically, I don't know if it's a design fault or just a safety um, feature that BMW have bought in. They don't want you to, you know, overpower the um, the power outlets, you know. Now imagine you have like four of these things plugged in and they have two USB ports in, right? So that's potentially eight things that you could be charging at once. And that, you know, could become a, um, a hazard, you know, could potentially cause a fire, I suppose, or it could, um, damage the battery so I guess it's a good thing that you can't really run all four at the same time but if you do try to run the one in the front and also any of the rear ones I'm pretty sure it will just blow a few so so long story short you can only use one of these things um, at a time basically uh, but I will be showing you uh, where the fuse is you know how to take it out and um, what uh, ampage it is and everything so we'll head over into the boot because there is actually a fuse box in the boot there's one in the um, glove box i'm pretty sure there's a little one in the engine bay as well but then there's a, a quite a big one um in the boot so we'll head there now okay right so the one in the boot is obviously got left and the right side the fuse box is actually located on the right side and it's just above where the battery sits as well so i get all these trays taken out and then we need to um, remove this piece of trim and then we will be able to see the fuse box. Oh. You can just lift this up. Oh, yours might have some clips holding it in, which is just... I believe this is one. I oh, know there's one there. And then there's... Another one there, you just uh, prise them out with um, some pliers or a screwdriver or whatever, but mine doesn't have any in. Okay, so I just want to show you something quickly. Um, in this emergency kit, which is actually in the tailgate, you have, as you will see, a fuse diagram, or you should at least have one in. And you can see the uh, obviously, you can see the different symbols and what they mean. You might not know what some of them mean, but the fuses that we need to check today is fuse 87 and 88, and it's got this symbol there. Now, the only way I knew that it was that symbol that we needed to check, because that symbol is also on this rear 12-volt port at the back. So that's the, uh, that's the fuses that we need to check. So 87 and 88 is in. This is the fuse box that we have at the rear. So 87 and 88 is the one at the top. 
It's two 20 amp fuses right next to each other, which are those two there. So we need to check those two. If either one of them are blown, we know that's the problem. Okay, so let's remove this one first. Ah, so straight away then, we found one that's broke. As you can see, contact in the middle is broke. So we know that fuse is no good. We'll also check the other one as well. Um, I don't think both will be blown, but we'll check as well just to make sure. No, that one's good. Now luckily, I actually have a spare fuse box from my old E60 from uh, when I broke it down and sold it as parts. So we have some spare fuses and some relays on here. Um, but luckily we have a 20 amp fuse, which is just the right size because these are the, pretty sure these are like full size fuses. Some cars have mini fuses on. Um, but these are the full size ones, I believe. So let's get this off, whip it in the uh, slot and then we should be good to go. Fuses in. Now all we got to do is switch the ignition on and then just check to see if the uh, 12 volt sockets are working. Okay. Ignition on. Set the rears first. Let's plug this in. Yeah. We're good on that one, 12 volts, 12 volts, set the one in the boot. Twelve volts, good to go. Alright, it's just gonna be a case of sticking all this back in place and then we'll see you in the car. Okay then, so job done. I know it was a fairly quick and uh, simple job to do, but I hope it has helped you out. I hope you now have power to um, all of your 12 volt outlets. Like I said, it is a pretty common problem, but you just need to remember not to use more than one at a time because it will you know, blow the fuse. So if you do have this problem, generally it is gonna be a, a blown fuse. So um, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, just, Go ahead, uh, check your fuses, see if they're blown. If they are, just go ahead and change them. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already because I've got plenty more videos on this car. And I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace!